Hey everybody, Dan Prey from Moto Prima Motorsports in Lakeville, Minnesota. And I'm going to just do a quick rundown for you on youth off-road vehicles. Um, there's one missing from this lineup here, and that would be the 50cc ATVs. Um, now those are about half the size of the 110s, and good for 6 year olds and up. Um, the 110s as you see here, which is the Polaris Outlaw 110, and the Polaris Sportsman 110. Um, are regulated for 10 and up. Now, these regulations are uh, kind of a state regulation also. They're part of our dealer agreement. Um, so when you come in to look at these, you're going to be looking at uh, these for your children that are going to be obviously the ages 10 and up, um, which are a good size for these, uh, these vehicles here. So as you can see, um, both of these vehicles have a little bit different styling so if mom or dad really likes to trail ride or hunt and you have a sportsman at home or a utility of any kind this is kind of a cool addition um, your kids will really like the fact that they can be like mom or dad and drive around on their little sportsman if they like the sports side a little bit better the outlaws obviously going in that direction with a little less utility doesn't have the racks like the sportsman does um, but it's overall the same machine so when you're looking at them, not, one's not faster than another one. It's just mostly styling. Now, these vehicles are fuel injected. They have electric start on both of them. As you can see with your push button electric start. They both have a tether safety. So you strap this to your wrist. And if you fall off, if you fall off, this will just pull off and that'll kill the machine. You just put it right back on to start it back up. You have a key. You can see it starts lighting up there. It's got a fuel light, engine light, um, push button start, and a gear selector. So you get forward, neutral, and reverse on these guys. So real easy to use. Um, so you're not having to, you know, get up and, and run over to help your children. If they um, get stuck in kind of a tight spot, they can back it up themselves and they can get loose and, and continue on riding. Now on ATVs in the state of Minnesota, Anyways, there's some uh, trail rules that you have to go by. So these technically are trail legal, um, but your kids will have to take a rider safety course, and that's going to start at about the age 12 years old. Um, and then you're going to be able to go out and trail ride with the family. So keep that in mind if you're going on public land or waterways. Um, so in the wintertime when the lakes are frozen over, you do need a certificate that you've completed a safety course if you're going to be riding with your kids um, that are going to be 12 years old and older. Now obviously 16 and up any licensed driver um, they can drive these or any other ATV perfectly fine um, without any safety certificate. Now when you look over on the dirt bike side you have some su substantial differences here when you're looking at like a 50cc Honda or Yamaha um, they're going to be about the same size on the same model. This is the 50 from Honda. It's a CRF 50. It's a three-speed semi-automatic, so there's no clutch. Um, you, you do just shift through the gears. This is kickstart only. The Yamaha does have an electric start. So you get your kickstarter right here. Fires it right up. These are carbureted machines, so they're really simple to own and operate. Regular gas, four-stroke engine, three-speed transmission. Like I said, uh, these run out about 20 to 25 miles an hour. Depends on how big the kid is riding it. And they do have this throttle stop on them. If you can see this right here. It's just a screw. Um, and that'll limit how much throttle that the children can give it. Um, so you can really slow it down if you want to. Now, uh, the 110, this is the Yamaha TTR 110. They do make a CRF from Honda and a 110. It's about the same size as this. Are going to be electric start. They're both carbureted, air-cooled motors. So really, really similar there. Similar design, similar height. Great trail riding bikes. But a little bit a little bit bigger. So this is going to be for kids, um, you know, 8 to 13, maybe 15 even. Um, they could ride these, no problem. Depends on how tall your 8-year-old is, but... Um, the fun thing on dirt bikes is in the state of Minnesota, they are not regulated the same as ATVs. So basically what that means is um, when you're looking at a 50, 
your six-year-old can take a uh, certification exam and they can go trail riding with you. So if you're into the, the big dirt bikes, like something like a CRF 250 or something like that, and you want to take your kids out, a 50cc works perfectly fine, or 110, anything like that, at the age of six, seven, eight, they can go out and trail ride with you, which is not the same for the ATVs, because you have to be 12 and up. Um, so that's personally why my children are riding um, dirt bikes, just because we can go out on the trail, we can have some more fun, we can go on public land, it opens up more avenues, and you don't have to know somebody that's got a bunch of land so you can go out and ride. Now, either of these bikes um, are going to last a really long time. Um, you know, you'll always have somebody that wants to buy them off of you when you're, once your kids are upgrading. So if they're going from the, the 50 to the 110, um, it'll be really, really easy to find somebody to, to sell these bikes to um, and upgrade your kids to new cool stuff. Um, same with the ATVs. The only issue with the ATVs is there's a bigger gap from uh, a 50 to 110 up to a 200 that you got to be aware of, um, especially for age gaps too, because uh, the 110s are for 10 and up, and then you're into uh, a 200, which is for a 14-year-old, um, and then you're up to full-size machines at 16. So there's some gradual steps, but you got a few years there where you're maybe on a machine that is getting a little small. Um, we don't have that with dirt bikes. So if you guys have any questions on this, we can kind of run you through it when you come in. Otherwise, Minnesota DNR website is a really good resource. It's where I um, have come across all this information. The training classes you have access through there too, so you can get signed up so your kids and your family can go out and ride together. Um, otherwise, give us a call at 952-465-0500. I'm Dan from Moto Primo in Lakeville, Minnesota. Thanks.